This is Twit. Mm-hmm. Um, they, uh, they talked about a feature called Share from Taskbar. And the idea there was that if you had an app running on the, de- on the you know, in your system, you could click on its icon and in that little thumbnail would be a share menu that would differ based on what the app was. So you could share different things. Mm-hmm. Um, that's mm-hmm. not in there. It's not never even, they've never even mentioned it. Um, there is something called uh, mute and unmute the microphone from the taskbar. Um, right. There is a, an, a microphone icon in the taskbar. You'll see it, Mary Jo, you'll see it if you're using Windows 11 or anyone, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, because we're on yeah. a call. But right. if you click it, it runs, it goes to the privacy and security area of settings and it goes oh. to microphone settings. So it just lets you globally turn on or off the microphone or mm. determine which apps can use the microphone. But what it's supposed mm. to do is let you from the taskbar, right. which is actually kind of a neat feature, mm-hmm. mute and unmute the microphone globally across your system. Um, excellent idea, you know? Yeah. So that's that, that's the type of thing that hasn't happened. Those are the three big ones I can remember off the top of my head. This is the regression mm-hmm. stuff. Um, the best example of that, well, there's a couple of examples. Um, you right-click on the taskbar and there's only one option. You right-click on one of the buttons that Microsoft pre-installs in Windows 10, like search, task view, widgets, or chat, and nothing mm-hmm. happens. If you want to toggle those things off, you actually have to go into settings and, and, and find that. It's in taskbar settings. But... You can't right-click them like you could in Windows 10 for the similar items. Mm-hmm. Um, you can't drag and drop a file to an app on the taskbar and open that document or whatever it is in that application. You can't do that. That's something that has existed in Windows. I couldn't even tell you when that started. Windows 95? Mm-hmm. I don't know. You know it, could have, it could go back all the way to the beginning. So, uh, so these things you're talking about, the regressions, as you call them, the, none of mm-hmm. these are things Microsoft said they would make part of Windows 11. They're just things they no, took away um, and never explain why, right? Yep. That's those two, okay. the, the two okay. or three. Yeah, the three that I mentioned, they never yep. said why. You know, right. you could consider default apps a regression, right? That's a, mm-hmm. uh, a it, really, it's just a more complicated interface. Yeah. But it's, it's also incomplete because they've taken away functionality. Literally, the, mm-hmm. the ability to globally say, I always want to use this browser for everything that I do that involves the web. You can't do that anymore. Well, um, we know why you know, they did that. Okay. <laughs> they did that to I'm try just, to trick more people into using Edge and Bing, yeah. right? Like, that's the, why they the, did the, that. The net result, is, the problem with simplification, which I guess you could argue a lot of these things are, you're, you're taking away UI elements. It's reducing clutter, I guess. You know, you yeah. don't see as much right. when you right click. I guess mm-hmm. that's simple. Um, yeah. But for people, and, you're, and it goes back to what you said in the beginning, you're absolutely right. Um, most normal people won't notice a lot of these things yeah. and maybe won't even be bothered by them if they notice them, I don't know. Um, but for people who are used to how Windows works, these are major changes uh, in yeah. usability and mm-hmm. they're kind of a problem. The other mm-hmm. thing I would just, you know, we're going to talk about some app updates uh, in a few seconds here, mm-hmm. but... A lot of uh, built-in apps in Windows really aren't being touched all that much, right? Like changing an app so that it has rounded corners on its uh, controls and stuff is, you know, whatever. I mean, you might not even have to change the app; just change the I library. That's the what app I was calls. Yeah, exactly. It just it's it yeah. sees it's running on Windows 11 and does it automatically. Maybe um, there are apps that need substantial updates in Windows uh, and have never been touched or have barely been touched over the years. Mail and calendar being the, the most obvious too. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but we know the updates for those are in the works. Project Monarch yep, yep. is. No, I know, but happen. you know, if they had shipped yeah. this thing after a normal amount of time, maybe these things all would have been together yeah. at the same amount, at the same time. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. this is. I'm getting the impression it was kind of a fire drill to get this thing out the door. Yeah. Yep. That's yeah. My I think they decided. I think with the OEMs, they decided. You know what? We need to get mm-hmm. holiday PCs going and a lot of people are just updating older PCs and we want them to go out and buy new ones and so here's how we're going to do it. That's so they had this Sun Valley which was a cosmetic update. They were working on it for a while and probably were planning on it to being Windows 10 21 H2, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Well, that- that's a good so it's that's an open question. I mean originally they were working on this UI simplification for Windows 10X. At some point last year, they oh, this was this 10X. Wasn't happen. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I remember. And then, oh, yeah, right, I, right. I, I think the discussion we would have had about 10X all the time was, I don't see any reason why, why this couldn't come to 10. Yeah. I don't see any reason why it couldn't come to 10, even as an optional thing where you can switch kind of mm-hmm. back and forth between the two. Yeah. Um, but once 10X wasn't happening, it, these things might all be tied together. That 
you know, it's important to give the PC industry a boost uh, because things are going to drop off a cliff as the pandemic mm -hmm. sort of winds down, or at least as the buying spree that the pandemic triggered winds down. Um, mm -hmm. And maybe this will help push that back a little bit and get some excitement going in the PC space. I mean, who knows? Like, yeah. uh, th there's a litany of things that could have fit into this. Apple released the M1 last fall and kind of shocked the world with that. And it happened to happen alongside a new UI for the Mac, which is really pretty, you know. Windows was a little stale by comparison. You know, that might have yeah. that might have played a role too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. True.